Another big concern tonight is the potential for widespread power outages. And right now, DTE Energy is reporting more than 13,000 customers without power. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig live in Redford Township tonight, and DTE says they're preparing for a worst case scenario, Kim. Absolutely, Glenda and Brian. What DT anticipates will cause the most outages is damage from the ice. You can see here on the side view mirror of our live truck just how it's really starting to accumulate. And the weight of ice on tree limbs and wires is what could leave a significant number of people without power. We have outages all the time. It can just the wind can blow and our outage will get a power outage. And we're already starting to see ice forming on the wires. DTE crews and their contractors have been in the field monitoring their equipment and people who lose power often are ready to lose it again. My husband is always watching the weather. He's always concerned because, you know, we don't ever know if we're going to lose power or not. We always assume that we're going to and prepare for it. This kind of weather, if we if we see that ice building, it's going to bring a lot of weight to those wires, so we are going to have a significant number of wires that come down. That's the biggest concern around safety, and everyone needs to be very aware and diligent. You know, please uh, watch your surroundings. Please stay away from down wires. MDTE's Matt Paul reminding everyone to stay away from anything down wires may be touching. Also remind children to keep their distance and don't run portable generators indoors. DTE storm response team has been activated and they've secured 400 crews from out of state to assist with restoring power to what could be an incredibly high number of outages. If we see a half an inch or more of ice, uh, it, it certainly wouldn't be out of the question to see a few hundred thousand outages or thereabouts. So we did leave the last time our power went out. We had to leave the house. It was a few weeks ago and we had to go to a relative's house for the day because it was pretty cold. And remember, depending on the surface, you can get ice accumulating very quickly. So if you do have to be out and about tonight, please be very careful just walking to and from your car. And of course, be very careful when driving. Reporting live in Redford, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Thank you, Kimberly.